Every, and hey everybody, here Brandon of the Stars here, formerly known as BMA1712, don't really ask why I na rename myself, but yeah, it's a long story, but anyway, I am here with a reactions video of the new Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Nintendo Direct that Nintendo has revealed a few days ago. And, well, it hasn't, the video, <clears throat> sorry, it isn't up right now, but I will come back, um, whenever it is up. So stay tuned. All right, everybody. Looks like Nintendo Direct is on. So yeah, let's get started. Or not, I guess. Oh, I guess it's just counting down. Oh, well, anyway. I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little bit, uh, bit flabbergasted right now. I'm, this is my first time doing a reaction video, and I don't, honestly don't know. I honestly don't know, how, like, how to start these things, so. Let's hope it starts soon. So this thing will be about 39 minutes in length. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see. Well, I can't. I can't tell you this. I'm really excited for this. I just really hope that they don't disappoint. Well, well, I guess I'll risk really not boring you guys. It's like guitar is cut to win and actually starts. Just letting you know that you know, I guess in this part, just something new happened. But anyway, I'll see you guys until the next part. <clears throat> All right, everybody. It's almost it's about ten, almost ten more minutes until the until the uh, direct starts. So yeah, you can tell I'm excited, huh? All right. Well, I'll, you know, I'll talk to you when you know, I'll talk to you guys when it really starts. This time, I swear. All right, everybody. I guess the direct. Yep, the direct is starting. Let's see. Okay. Little matches there. Mega Man. It looks like a combination of all the uh, trailers so far. But I hope they introduce some new stuff soon. Hmm, but yeah, but this intro is actually pretty cool. Hello everyone, I'm the director of Super Smash Brothers. Must be little sucker. I'm still alive. Yes, I'm still alive. I'm here at the Namco Bandai Studios in the Mirai Kyushu Building, where we're developing Super Smash Brothers for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. Oh, that place is big. This is where I come to work every day. And from here, I'd like to share some information about our new Smash Brothers games. I don't know why you paused there, but okay. That the games are still under development, so anything the game footage you're about to see could change. Release info, okay. First off, let me share some important information. When we plan to release the games. The Nintendo 3DS version will be released this summer. Mm. With the Wii U version targeted for release this upcoming winter. That's cool. Yes, the 3DS version is coming out first. <laughs> These titles are packed with content, so we need time to do them justice. Thank you all for your patience. Okay. This may be a bit too technical for some. But please, let me just get this out. The Nintendo 3DS version is going to essentially run at 60 frames per second, and it will all be in stereoscopic 3D. Mm. I imagine many of you understand that for a game of scale of Smash Brothers, this is quite a feat. 
Oh. Wow. That would be pretty cool. Almost that samurai guy from Brawl. I forget his name, actually. <laughs> Difference between 3DS and Wii U versions. Okay, that's good. Thank God. Uh-huh. The, the 3DS version looks like the original one from Brawl. In the 3DS version, each stage will have two songs tied to it. You may remember there were some stages like this in Super Smash Bros. Melee. I can understand why they yeah, limited themselves to two songs on the 3DS version. It must have taken up like a lot of data or something. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering about this. Nah. Oh well. Stages. Okay. Now let's take a look at some stages. Whoa, Lurch Thorn. Well, that's. All these stages look pretty good for 3DS standards. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> DDD. Aww. Oh, the prison tower, I'm excited for that scene. Or that scene. That stage it looks so pretty. Ooh, Rainbow Road. Ouch. Oh, the find me stage. Oh, balloon fight stage. That's actually pretty interesting. I kinda expected Jungle Japes to get him maybe back. Oh, Wii U version, okay. Mario oh, it looks so pretty. Mario Galaxy stage. Pirate Spear from Metroid. Okay. Town and City from Animal Crossing. Oh, the boxing ring. I love that stage. It looks so cool. Pilot wings. Oh, I love Skyloft. Nice. Uh, the Garden of Hope. <laughs> Olimar. We fit studio. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, pa whoa! Palatina's temple is really big. It looks like the it looks like the temple from oh, uh, Halberd's back. Oh, that'd be cool. The Yellow Devil. This is a Mega Man stage called Wily Castle. Let me tell you about the Yellow Devil found here. In the background, you can see all of Dr. Wily's castle from Mega Man 2. And then something comes flying out. Yep, there he is. It's the Yellow Devil. Yeah, he actually looks pretty cool in it's HD. Of course. It's like Zelda. Everything has everything's weakness is its eye. Well, it's like a smart bomb. Do you try to steal the final strike? 
before you perhaps target the fighters who have targeted the yellow belt. There are plenty of possible strategies. I think it's huge. I never noticed that. Boss characters make appearances in other stages, not just this one. Whoa, Ridley! I guess they make cameo appearances. Oh, trophy quiz. This ought to be good. What character is this? What the? Is? Oh uh, no, that's not who I was. <laughs> I thought they looked like Waka for a minute there. I don't know why I thought that, but okay. Online play. Okay, this I have to listen to. Now let's look at how online play will work. Internet multiplayer. The Wii U version will have online multiplayer as Brawl did. You'll have the option to play only with friends or with anyone online. Okay. Ugh, buffering. I hate it when that happens. Huh. But the 3DS version isn't going to be overshadowed. Oh, okay, thank God. As well. Thank God. Of course, if your connection isn't smooth, you won't be able to play company. So I hope you'll find a way to connect at a fast access point. I hope so too, because me and my friends all want to play this. For optimal results on the Wii U version, I recommend using a wired connection. It's naturally more stable than wireless. Game mode? Oh, that's already interesting. Super Smash Bros. Brawl can be played online anonymously. Players can freely choose stages and try to make it so they could customize their matches however they want. Unfortunately, it's fair to say this resulted in a number of problems. Of course, at the time there were limits to what we could do online, and now we can do a lot more. That's good. Upcoming games, we're giving the player even more choices. When you're not playing with friends, you'll be able to enter one of two modes. Modes we're calling for fun and for glory. That's not be good. When you play in full fun mode, your stage will be picked randomly from all stages except final destination, and all items will have a chance of a game. The only data that will be recorded will be the number of your victories. That's cool. In full glory mode, the only stage available will be final destination. Oh, the final destination stage looks so cool! Well, there goes Little Mac with his punch. I hope so. I bet that'd be pretty fun. Oh, and of course, when you play with your friends, you can set the rules to whatever you feel like. You can play stock battles, or matches with your time limit, or whatever stages you want. Still never get used to the villagers net like that. Final I'm destination. Probably spent a lot of time on the final destination the previous time. But since there are tons of stages and musical pieces in the game, I'd like that player to get a chance to experience all that Super Smash Brothers has to offer. So please, take a look at this. Almost all the stages now have a final destination form. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad now thing. The lobby has plenty of variety as well. Oh, I get it. Enjoyable online multiplayer. Anonymous online matches are no more. Instead, names linked to players' Nintendo Network IDs will appear. Hmm. There will be a code of conduct in place, just like in Miiverse, to keep things pleasant. Yeah, so they can hmm, report troublemakers. That's good. We're currently talking about managers to cut down on players starting their match in the North Korea. Players who relentlessly target a single opponent. Players who repeatedly self-destruct. Players intentionally dropping out too much or dropping out for technical reasons mm. and other abuses of the system. Jeez. These measures may include banning such players from online play for a time. And the more they abuse their fellow players, the longer their bans will be. Yikes. Please be aware, there will be penalties for facelessly reporting players as well. <laughs> Nintendo's not <laughs> Nintendo's not playing games anymore. Nintendo means business now. Global Smash Power. What does that mean? There's one more area where players will be able to enjoy themselves online. Scoring competition. Hmm? However, a simple ranking system that shows where you rank among hundreds of thousands of other players would be too broad. <laughs> Sounds about it. 
So we're not going to do rankings or anything from online battle. What we can do is grab scores for clearing solo modes and things like that. That's why we created and implemented something called Global Smash Power. Okay. This is an entirely new type of ranking system. The bigger this stat is, the stronger the player is. It indicates how your scores stack up against other players. So you'll be able to use your Global Smash Power to say, My score is better than 300,000 people worldwide. Wow. You should also know that though there won't be rankings in online multiplayer, there will be some sort of matchmaking going on based on skill levels. Hmm. Interesting. Items. This might be good. Now let's take a look at some items. Beam sword. Actually looks pretty cool. Reminds me of the blade from Kid Icarus Uprising. Uh, bumper. Ah, oh, the smart bomb's back. I had a feeling. Motion sensor bomb looks weird. Oh, the... They added the power block. That's cool. Oh, the beetle from Skyward Sword. Whoa. Oh, a fire bar? <laughs> what? Oh, the back shield. That would be helpful. A oh, bomb chew. Fairy bottle. Oh, I saw that. Nice. Oh, the ore club. Oh, that's cool. X bomb. I'm glad they're using something from Uprising. Oh, the Hockatape bomb. A rocket belt. Oh, that's cool. That'll be good for you know, characters that aren't very high a jump. A steel diver. Oh, another trophy quiz. All right, let's take a look at this one. Oh, that's V from Skyward Sword. I really can't wait for these games to come out. Assist trophies. Now this I don't want to see. Assist trophies. <laughs> Waluigi. Out. These figure into all-star mode, so I'd like to put in as many as possible. Okay. Whoa, this trophy looks weird. Okay, there's Andros. Uh, not him again. Not the devil. I hate that guy. Oh, Knuckle Joe. Nice. Sa Saki, um, I may have my eyes in there. Oh, Lynn's back. Aw, Nintendo. Even though you're annoying, you're adorable. Waluigi. Ooh, Dr. Wright. Go, kid. Whoa! That's interesting. Mother brain. Ouch. Midna! She's an assist trophy now? Awesome! Ashley. Dark Samus. Ooh, this ought to be interesting. Oh, a chain charm! That's cool! Isabel. Oh, she's a support care. Oh, Elect Man. Nice. Color TV game 15. Oh, it's Pong. That's that's interesting. Pokemon. Now this I want to see for sure. Who knows This time looks like we got one of these. Ooh, a Master Ball. This is a Master Ball. Only hard to find Pokemon emerge from these. Oh, that's cool. Let's see what Mario gets. Arceus! With its heavy attacks, it can hit fighters in midair with a meteor speed. That is cool! Now let's see some more of the Pokemon. Substitute? What the heck? Up oh, there's okay there I knew Meowth was coming back. And Electrode 2. Of course I need to... Eevee? Why is she there? Aww. Star you Metagross, I knew he was coming back. Fennekin! Oh, he's so cute! Meloetta, one of my favorite legendaries! Go Goat! Oh, that is so cool! Entei! Deoxys! Palkia! 
Hurim. Nice. Aw, oh, Victini. I somehow knew they were going to add him back. Kelzio. Oh, no, that is cool. Of course. I knew Xerneas was going to be a Pokeball Pokemon since they first re revealed him. Returning fighters. Okay, this is probably where we're going to introduce them to the more veterans, so. Okay. Okay. Well, that sucks. It's not just her. All characters who used to change forms mid match will no longer change. Mm -hmm. Instead, you'll be able to concentrate on a single move set for the whole fight. Well, I guess it's good. Hmm? What happened to Zero Suit Samus, you say? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, she's not going to participate in this iteration of Smash Bros. Mm -hmm. That sucks. What the? Nah, I'm only kidding. Whoa! She looks cool. For this title, Zero Suit Samus was designed with slightly less physical strength. So I thought we needed to find those. Looks like Zero Suit Samus is back. That's why we've given her a pair of jet boots and we managed to work with them. Sakurai, you troll. What used to be a weakness now results in this. Nice. Kicks that combine both power and speed. Those jet boots will be awesome. Alright, let's see who's next. Zelda, okay. Next up, Zelda. Oh, this is probably going to get some going back to Sheik. Okay. Of course, summoning the Phantom also works as a defensive move. Hmm. Then again, you should be careful not to let your Phantom get reflected back. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny how the villager just reflects it. So what happened to Sheik? Don't worry. Sheik is back. Wow, Sheik looks cool in HD. Bouncing fish? Burst grenades are little bombs that blow up once you pull a pin. Bouncing fish is an acrobatic kick technique using the heel of a foot. That is weird. <laughs> now let me speak a little about the other characters in the game. Kirby! Wait, where's this going? He added a Kirby hammer technique to his moveset. The official name of the move is Hammer Flip. Huh. Just like in Superstar and Superstar Ultra. Nice. If you build this move up to maximum power and don't use it, it'll start taking damage. So be careful. Huh. What? And then for his final smash, he added something that will slice through everything. I knew it. Kirby's Ultra Sword is his new final smash. Okay, here's DDD. DDD has become much more expressive. He also throws Gordos now instead of Waddle. Huh. I guess that's good. High-powered ammo in quick succession makes him a more formidable fighter. Huh. Lucario. Lucario's aura attacks have been strengthened, and now when it's in trouble, it'll do even more damage than in the previous. Game. That aura sphere looks cool. However, you should be careful not to power up too much, hmm? or you'll quickly find yourself in serious trouble. Oh, I see what you mean. We also had some player expectations for that before. I know. And that means a mega evolution. Lucario's mega evolution is in there. Yes. Lucario's aura attacks. Please tell me that's his final smash. Pikmin and Olimar. For this game, Olimar can only have three Pikmin following him around. That sucks. This is a bit of a painful power reduction. You the think? same might be. One important change is that Olimar now plucks Pikmin in a fixed order. Red, yellow, blue. Once these guys get dispatched, next come white, then purple, and then back to red again. Mm hmm. What about Rock and Wing? You'll be able to clearly see them lined up behind you, and management becomes all the more important. Also, we've changed his recovery move to this. Oh. Okay. Wings Pikmin. Okay, that makes sense. The Pikmin follow you, you fly through the air. But the more Pikmin you have, the heavier the captain will be. Okay, I, I get what they're going to go to. What is his down special move? correct some of his shortcomings, but also add some weak points. 
What is this? Down and smash. Uh, down and smash all attack is. Okay, never mind. Okay, here's Pit. For the new additions, we've cut the gliding mechanic from Pit's repertoire. This, of course, represents a bit of a downgrade. This place, though, we've leveled him up in a number of areas. <laughs> yeah, all because of the new weapons from the Uprising. Final smash has been changed to a free sacred trail. Oh, that is so cool! Oh, of course it buffers. Oh, but si no, seriously, the 33 sacred, tr sacred treasures in the final smash is awesome! We've made the movesets of a number of other fighters stronger, too. I hope you'll check them all out. Okay, so that's all the fighters. I hope you reveal some more, though. Oh, wait. There's one more returning fighter I wanted to talk about. Yoshi! Finally! In past Smash Brothers, Yoshi moved like a dinosaur standing on two legs with a bent back. For the upcoming games, we're updating the character to be more in line with recent models. Hmm. Yoshi now basically stands upright. Just like Bowser. This is quite a big change, so we've waited a bit to inform everyone. However, should know that the change has made Yoshi even stronger. Nice. Assured, Yoshi will stand tall in battle. <laughs> oh, another trophy quiz. Well, I hope at least it reveals a new newcomer. Up, oh, that's Palutena. Oh, pseudo Palutena. That thing always still creeps me out. New fighters. Now that is, I have to see. Mega Man and Rush. Okay, first is Rosalina, sorry. I just saw Mega Man and Rush figurines. Rosalina can choose to keep her Luna with her, or send it off via her special move, the Luna Shock. Hmm. Shoot out, then return. <laughs> That's kind of cute. When Luma is on its own, it'll wander around the stage, and the player can control its attacks while it's separated from its own. That's cool. Rosalina and Luma each have a different set of moves, and they can fight somewhat independently. <laughs> That's nice. They're particularly far from one another. They'll be able to unleash lots of individual attacks. Now let me show you some of their moves. The side special attack, called Star Bits, lets Luma fire a number of projectiles. Okay. You can do this when the two are separated, with Rosalina guarding the face, so to speak. Ooh, poor Rosalina. Her up special attack is called the launch dart. <laughs> Knew that was coming. Nice long distance recovery move. Nice. Her down special is called gravitational pull. Okay, knew that was coming. To draw in items. It will even render enemy shots ineffective. <laughs> like Mario's flood, nice. Last but not least, her final smash, the power star. Whoa! It combines shooting stars with a gigantic one. That is so cool. Little Mac. Next up is Little Mac. As you can see, that his body is small. He packs huge punches. <laughs> of course, with him and Samus, that was seen in the trailer. As a boxer, his attacks basically consist of punching with both hands. So it's a bit difficult to put a diverse move set together. <laughs> that said, I think he's become an exceedingly fresh character. Indeed. He's extremely strong at unleashing attacks from the crowd. You can also shrug off some attacks through sheer willpower. <laughs> nice. He's also got smash attacks that hit at megaton levels. Whoa! Sure to be launching at points left and right. Unfortunately, though, his abilities in the air are extraordinarily weak. <laughs> I had a feeling that was coming. Even though he's a terror on the ground, he's very vulnerable in the air, and even his attack power weakens considerably. Plus, his ability to recover is just terrible. Eh? Huh? Everything has his weaknesses. There's one more attribute that's unique to Little Mac. His power move. His special moves include the straight lunge, which is very strong on its own. Nice. Beyond that, connecting with attacks and even getting hit by enemies will fill Little Mac's power move. When it's completely full, you can come armed with a one-shot only attack, the KO uppercut. One punch, it's the KO. I bet that'll be tournament, ba tournament banned. So that's Little Mac. 
an up close brawler that wants to stay rooted to the ground. How he fares in battle will be up to the players. I can see why. Ooh, poor Mario. A jolt haymaker will allow him to leap into the fray before attacks. At first I thought it said joy hammer. The rising uppercut is his recovery move. Though it doesn't have a lot of jump power, the move makes up for it with attack power. And then there's the slip counter. A move where Mac faints like he's going to take a hit, then counterattacks his enemy. Hmm. And then there's his final smash, the transformation into Giga Hmm, knew it. Are these two really the same guy? <laughs> oh, also, for old school fans, we're including Wireframe Mac as one of your costume choices. Oh, that is cool. That is a that is a love letter to the original Punch Out. Villager. Now let's take a quick look at some of the villagers' moves. Okay. Oh, so his neutral one is the pocket. Okay. <laughs> Sonic Spring. Lloyd Rocket. I knew that was coming. Balloon Trip. Hmm. <laughs> his face. Timber! Nice music. Let's see if it's going to reveal his final smash now. Dream Home. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. His final smash is having his dream home built. So that's kind of funny. Mega Man. I kind of have a feeling what his final smash is going to be. Okay. Oh, poor Luigi. It's <laughs> stuck on Yoshi's saddle. Oh, leaf shield. Rush coil. For the final smash, it's Mega Man's famous co star. Whoa! Wii Fit Trainer. The Wii Fit Trainers fight with healthy techniques. So let's focus on two of them. Okay. Breathing and sun salutation. Deep breathing. breathing helps to unify the mind. So afterward, the trainer's attacks hit all the harder. Oh, wow, that's good. That's cool. The sun salutation is a projectile attack that the Wii Fit Trainer can create and save for later use. <laughs> she can summon the sun. She's a Volcarona secretly. That is cool. Bet she's gonna be powerful. Nice. That's cool. Mysterious special. Oh, they didn't re reveal any new ones. Check this out. I think you'll see some moves you've never seen before. This is one of the elements you can use to customize your game. Custom move sets. Well, that's cool. You can't use this feature while playing online with Stra- Oh, come on, stop buffering. Human just moves. It's only active when playing online with friends or playing locally. Customizing moves can add a lot of nuance to the fighters. Did Kirby's inhale just freeze Mario? That's weird. Okay, another trophy quiz. I have to see this. Um... I don't know. Kink... Kai Hunter? Yeah, it must be... It's a Metroid thing. I don't really know. Smash Run. What? For the 3DS version, and only the 3DS version, we've got a big new game mode called Smash Run. Is this like All-Star yeah, mode? Please have a look. Whoa, Kremlings! See, and a lot of video game enemies around. There's Kremlings, Goombas. Huh. 
This actually looks kind of cool. And the Kicker's Uprising to Shy Guys and... Kamek? Mono-wise? What is this? Looks like an obstacle course of some kind. What the hell's a Bulborb doing there? Oh, that's cool. Hmm. It reminds me of Kirby Air Ride. Whoa. We expect this will create all kinds of interesting showdowns. It will only take a short time to bring the fight to a conclusion, and then you can quickly jump into another battle as you wish. The players will all be running side by side through the same world, but this isn't the place for them to start being on each other. They all start from the same condition and use their abilities to gather power ups. That's cool. Wonder if they had anything like that for the Wii U version. We'll probably find out later. Nice. <laughs> Knew it. Cool. Way to go, Sakurai. Most of the enemies in here are drawn from the various game series. Stalvo, Hunter, Reaper, Just as an FYI, different enemies will appear Matar, Pophant, Kiki Buzz, Rotura, I hate those things, Bulborb, Chandelure? Oh no, not Mimic Cuties, hate those things. Ah, oh, that was actually yeah, that was actually pretty pretty good. I I loved a lot of the stuff they put in there. Oh, look at character roster right now: Mario, DK, Link, Samus, Yoshi, Kirby, Fox, Pikachu. Luigi. I love his gem animation. Peach. Bowser. Zelda. Sheik. North. Pit. Seriously, Samus. Still looking good with those rocket boots. Pikmin and Olimar. Diddy. <laughs> His face. DDD. Lucario. Toon Link. Cute as always. Sonic. Villager. <laughs> he does the little stand that Dr. Shrunk does. That's funny. Mega Man, Wii Fit Trainers. Rosalina and Luma. Finally, Little Mac.
What's this? Whoa, that's a lot of Pokeballs. Whoa. Wait. Charizard fires it up. Oh, wait. Charizard is back as a single character? Why, did I, why am I not surprised? I like the music, though. Let me guess, Mega Evolution time? What's this? Mewtwo? I know that's Mewtwo. I, my eyes do not lock. <laughs> it's a red Pikmin! <laughs> okay, that was actually kind of funny. Okay, I'm glad I didn't stop. I can't tell if it's either Greninja or Mewtwo. I, it might be either. Because I see water effects. It is Greninja! Oh my god. Greninja makes a splash. Yes! Greninja. One of my favorite Kalos Pokemon. It is now a playable character in Smash Bros. 4. How awesome is that? Oh, that is so cool! Okay, Nintendo... You have my support all the way with this now. That is so cool. A substitute, nice. And yes, it looks like Charizard is back. And probably it's a single character too. Well, at least they're announcing more Pokemon uh, playable characters. At least that's good. Greninja. I. That's one Pokemon I never expected him expected to come here. Of course, Mega Charizard X. That is amazing. I can't believe I thought he would... Well, I can kind of understand how he going to take him from YouTube because their hands kind of look the same in, like, a silhouette, but... That was amazing. Oh, my God. That was probably one of the best Nintendo, Nintendo Directs I've ever seen, especially with a surprise like that by showing Greninja. Like I said before, Greninja is one of my favorite Kalos Pokemon ever. Oh my god. I am psyched for this now. You, you wouldn't believe how psyched I am, but anyway. Well, that's, that's my reaction video, and... Hmm. And leave a leave a comment down below and tell me what are your reactions to the Smash Bros. and, and, and Smash Bros. Direct. I'll put a link in the video. I'll, I'll put a link in this video in the description, just in case you haven't seen it, so you can check it out for yourself. So you can tell me what you like about what you think about the new game modes, the new characters that are revealed. Okay. Well, be man, Brandon starts out.